Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Hey guys, it's Professor Presbury back with another episode of Hey Per Professor. Um, this is going to be another one of my vlogs. Vlog. Where, <laughs> I don't know, why did I do that? Vlog. Hello, Mr. Potter. Vlog. It's fine. I did that joke last time. Anyway, look, the point is, um, it's something I was thinking about. I wanted to share with you guys, you know, something I was thinking about. It did happen in my real life. So um, I think it might be beneficial to share that knowledge with you. Hopefully it's wisdom, you know, not just some guy on a camera talking nonsense, right? Um, so one of the things I like to say is if I'm not growing, I'm going right now. What that means is if I'm at an organization and I'm working and I don't see how this could enhance me in any way or make me a better or a more marketable person, then I'm going, I'm going to find a way to invent myself. I'm going to find a way to evolve so that I continue growing and I continue to be more, more valuable. Right. Um, one of the things I want to talk about the experience I had uh, when I was younger. I was in my early 20s and I was working at a shipping company. I won't say which one. Um, I was one of their best employees. And that's not me just talking you know, nonsense. They actually said as much. Like, oh, you're, you're one of our best guys. You know, we can't replace you. And that's fine. But, you know, this is what that conversation is about. It's about promotion. It's about raises. But it's about um, elevation, right? And your value as an employee. So, you know, while I was there... Um, I was a loader. I loaded trucks. It did not pay a lot, and it was very grueling work, very difficult, grueling work, right? And like I said I was a young guy just kind of struggling to make it. Um, I had been there for about three years, and I wanted to be a, a driver. Drivers, from my knowledge, started at about 80,000, but I heard also they might start at 100, but I don't know. That might have been nonsense. We're talking about 2011 back then, right? So drivers were the goal, right? Everybody wanted to be a, a driver. Now, how do you become a driver? There really wasn't a lot of clear information for me about how to do that. Like, what were the requirements? What were the things I had to do to be a driver at this shipping company? No idea. Um, I had been told that you had to be there for four years. I was almost there for four years. I was told that you had to have a clean background. I got that. That you had to have a, a clean driving record. I got that, too. You know. Um, and I was told that they had to put your name on, on some list, right? So, you know. But the thing is, I also knew quite literally there was a guy next to me on the belt, as we call them. We, we called the belt and we called it the metros, right? Had, had a guy next to me on the metros who had been working at that same job for 20 plus years trying to become a driver. And he finally did towards the end of my time there, but I wasn't going to wait 20 years to do something. I, I wanted to be able to, to live a life with a lifestyle I wanted now. So I remember, you know, kind of putting it in everybody's ear, kind of setting out and saying, I'm going to be a driver or I want to be a driver. How do I find out? Right. And I remember um, when I was working at that organization, uh, while I was working at this shipping company, um, what ended up happening to me one day, sorry, what ended up happening to me one, one day was that um, I got injured, right? I, I think I like hit my nail or something in my hand and I ended up going into the, the manager's office, into the box, right? And um, no one really knew I was there. I was kind of low key at the time. I went into the manager's office just to get a, um, a, a bandaid, right? And I overheard them. Now, I'm going to tell you something, right? I had been there for almost four or four years at the time, and I, I wanted to be a driver. So listening to management talk about drivers was very interesting things to me, right? So I, I go over there, and I'm kind of sneaking around, you know, kind of scoping around, trying to find out what is what is going on. And, you know, I hear them talk about um, a female employee. And like I said, I was a hard worker, man. I did great. I did amazing. They told me on a regular basis I was one of their top guys. This woman, I have no shame in saying, worked circles around me. I was one of their best guys. Well, she was better, like better in every way. Like she is to this day, the hardest working woman I had, I had ever met in my life. And, you know, I hope she's doing well out there. But in any case, so, you know, I went into the manager's box. I'm walking behind them. I heard them talking and they're, they're talking about, you know, considerations for a promotion. They're talking about people who they're considering for, um, for the driver job. Now here's the thing, right? We were all low income people. So you make somebody a driver. I mean, you were instantly changing their life, like in a positive way. We're talking about benefits. We're talking about, you know, union benefits, automatic raises, starting $80,000, you know, like good money. You know what I mean? Um, 
So I remember just kind of listening, kind of skulking around like, damn, like they're talking about who's going to be a driver. I want to be a driver or at the very least, I want to hear this. Right. So I'm sitting there and I hear them talk about, you know, this woman and they're saying, you know, well, what about, I won't say her name, but I'll say out loud, you know, what about N? And they were like, well, no, you know, why should I, why did I say N? Like, it ain't thinking like, you know, like that bad word. No, not that. I'll just say Cole. Right. So they're thinking about Cole, Nicole. I said N and I said Cole. I might as well say Nicole. Right. So, um, sorry, my, my, uh, <clears throat> anyway, so, you know, this woman, like I said, she was the hardest worker that I knew, right? And they were talking about Nicole, and they said, what about Nicole? And then they said, mm, we're not going to pick Nicole for the promotion because we wouldn't be able to replace her. And I'm sitting there listening, like, what? And they were like, they were like, yeah, she can do three trucks. Like, we have nobody that can do that. Like, she's so, as far as, like, her, her quality as a worker, as far as her profitability, as far as her... Um, performance she outstriped everybody me included and they knew that they couldn't find somebody as good as her right so they weren't going to promote her but that struck a chord with me like in a bad way i was just like you gotta be kidding me like this woman is busting her ass doing everything that she needs to do she had been here for way longer than me the hardest work i knew even to this day and she wasn't going to get the promotion because she worked too hard i want you to think about that right because that happens some, some sometimes. That happens sometimes in organizations where you're too valuable, and so they won't let you grow. And it's a sad thing. It's a it's a thing that's not great, but it does happen. So I think people should always kind of reflect on their value and kind of keep the mindset: if I'm not growing, I'm going. You don't want to end up stuck. I didn't. I never told Nicole. If you guys are wondering how that story went, I never told her because I didn't want her to be upset. Like that would really, I think ruin my relationship with, with an organization knowing that um, I was very close to getting an outcome that could change my life but that they didn't do it because I was too good like that would make me mad I would be embittered forever I would never be able to work the same again I'd be broken right but I just was like no 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 you know and that really informed um, a lot of my thought process about management even though I am management about growing as, a, uh, as an individual I'll, I'll keep it short and sweet. I just wanted you guys to really think about that. That that does happen sometimes. I'm not saying that's happening to you. I'm just saying think about that because, you know, sometimes to grow, you have to get outside of your comfort zone, right? And sometimes people aren't going to see your value and you have to go places and be with people that, that will, you know, you take that for your personal and your professional life. Uh, okay, again, guys, it's been another episode from P Professor Persbury just doing my vlogging thing. I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you. And have a good night. All right, guys. Bye. Intelligence is not enough. Intelligence plus character, that is the true goal of education.